Sudarat Romar. I work at the Transition Assistance Program here in Mott Hall. The 2022 Women History Month pays tribute to women of all cultural backgrounds that provide hope and healing. I would like to pay tribute to um, Malala Yousafzai. She is uh, the youngest Nobel Peace Prize recipient in history. In 2008, Malala was told at the age of 11 she cannot attend a school anymore. Um, Taliban prohibited and closed down the schools and told her she can't attend. Not knowing when she can return back to school, Malala advocated um, for her rights and um, every other woman's right or girl's right to attend school. In 2014, she publicly denounced the Taliban um, attacking girls' school and limiting access for girls attending education. Taliban retaliated and boarded her with a school bus and shot her in the head. Her road of recovery led her ultimately to Birmingham, England, where she recovered and continued her um, conquest of um, advocating for um, education. She opened a Malala um, Foundation and for her effort, she was um, nominated and ultimately received the Nobel Peace Prize for her efforts. How does Malala's story resonate with mine? Well, I grew up in a developing country as well, where resources were very limited. Resources such as clean water, food, clothing, and housing. In 1960, my mom was five years old. Public school just started to build up in Thailand, and only 40% of the Thais were enrolled in some sort of public education, which was mainly reserved for the wealthy and elite of the country. Traditionally, Thai girls were groomed into their role of a stay-at-home mom, mother role, and preferences were given to males to attend public education. In 1960, my mom was five years old and her education never surpassed elementary level. I was fortunate enough that we moved to Europe and I was being given the opportunity to attend um, European education and an ultimately American education. I'm the first in my family to graduate with a master's degree. Malala recently graduated um, from the University of Oxford in, in philosophy, economics and politics. But our story started off the same, our journey couldn't be more different from each other. However, what we have in common is that we understand the universal, the need of universal access for education, especially for young women in poverty. Education is a mean to elevate poverty and access to a better and brighter future. Women's rights are human rights.